G'day, Brent Fawn here from Multiel Central. Today we're here in Sydney Harbour. We've got a very special tour of the latest Seawind 1170 hull number two, sweet disposition. And Simon, the new owner, yep. is going to give us a tour through and uh, give us a full owner's brief on this wonderful boat. Yeah, very excited. Let's do it. Excellent. Go. So Simon, why don't you want to show us through this wonderful boat? And this is hull number two being uh, quite a difference. Well look, um, Brent, I, I think uh, the, the finish uh, on the boat to start with is, is just, um, it, it's more than we expected. Um, early adopters uh, normally have some challenges, but look, we, we love it. For a start, one of the, uh, the things is the uh, um, electric windows, which, you know, on the 1260 and all the other sea winds, um, they've got these electric windows. Um, Which on Tula's are, are pull-out manual windows. Yes. Like we see on C1160 lights and so on. Yes. But this has sort of moved up into the next level of uh, fit-out and quality. It definitely has. And, and, and the other, it, it, it's actually wider um, here from the smaller um, uh, windows, pull-in uh, windows. This is significantly wider, which gives us tremendous vision whilst sitting here at the, uh, at the helm station. Um, it, and, the, and it's on both sides, the, uh, the drop down windows are on both sides and it was something that we really liked when we chartered 1260s ourselves before we made our decision, first class, love it, love mm. it. I think the trim here uh, on the doors just gives it that little extra uh, bit of class, a really nice finish, it takes away from the, uh, from the all white and I think it looks really, really good. Uh, the table um, is very different. Um, it's, got the, uh, it's got the maple finish, just the quality, it just gives it that better, um, that better presentation, makes it feel a bit more luxe. Mm, certainly impressed us the minute it arrived. It, uh, it's a nice boat to be on, isn't it? It's a lovely boat to be on and uh, having sort of sailed in the harbour and uh, also around Moreton Bay, it's just been fantastic. Mm. It's just you just had fantastic. a couple of weeks up there yeah. floating around. Yeah, and, yeah, and having a ball. Yeah. Uh, all sorts of conditions. There was uh, motoring conditions and then some fantastic sailing conditions as well. Um, but the livability of the boat, um, the space with the, you know, the headroom here. I mean, you and I are both sort of six foot two, six foot three. Well, you're, yeah, you're a, you're a tall. There's, a, there's, oh, there's, right. there's, just a, there's just plenty of room. And again, um, in the saloon, plenty of room and uh, um, the space, it feels bigger than it actually is. Um, and that's what we've really enjoyed. Well, I think you're right there. That's one thing that impressed me when we got on the boat is that extra height through the headroom uh, yep. in, the, in the coach roof here. Yep. You to yep. get that extra volume yeah. effect. So. And, and you know, that's reflected down on the hulls and I guess we'll go down there um, later is the, again, the space that is in this boat, how they've used it. Um, uh, it's, it's just impressive, it's just, it's a great boat. We're, mm. we're thrilled to put, thrilled to bits, thrilled yeah. to bits. The seating here, which I think uh, is fairly similar, isn't it? Electric winch. Yep, um, so electric winch, um, other standard winches, standard winches on uh, on this side. And obviously, you know, you can sit forward and back on this um, if you want to and, and look in, whilst we're up in Morton Bay, we did a lot of that sort of sitting back here and uh, um, looking back while we're anchored up, it was just lovely. And just, you know, the versatility of the boat. So That's a pretty big uh, icebox in, in there as well. It is, it? A, uh, it is a good size icebox. Plenty of ice, cold drinks, all works. And you added a barbecue uh, behind us there? Yes, we did. Retrofitted that um, one. And uh, we put that in on, uh, on afterwards. Um, and that's great for pork roast. That's <laughs> <laughs> very soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Masterful job. great. So you've done a little bit of sailing on the boat around Sydney and uh, Moreton Bay, yeah. um, how's it feel to sail? Look, it's, it's really easy. Um, I wouldn't say that my wife and I are the uh, most experienced sailors, um, but uh, the boat is easy to sail. It doesn't cause problems for you by getting out of control. It, it's, just a, it's just a great boat. And this is uh, a stepping stone into a bigger plan later yes. on down the track? Yes, yes, we have, a, uh, we have another plan. Um, it's all, all in the Seawind 1370 sort of style, mm. uh, but you know, this is, this is the uh, beginning. And I guess the good thing about this is it gives us a great opportunity to experience a very, very similar boat and certainly similar boat design. And you know, if this is any indication, happy days. Mm. <laughs> mm. 
And uh, just also to give some context, this boat's being run as a charter boat here in our Sydney base? Yes, yes. And uh, so we're using uh, the cruise club uh, to, uh, to um, sail on the boat. We get an opportunity once a month to, uh, to sail ourselves. But apart from that, we get uh, people in the cruise club uh, using it and uh, I think they enjoy it just as much. Mm. Um, and the cruise club works really well for us. Mm. You know, it's a way of covering costs and also uh, enjoying a great boat. And gives you a financial return Absolutely. along the way. Absolutely, the yeah. And uh, gives you an opportunity to do other little things that you might want to do um, to uh, to do any upgrades or anything else mm. with the boat. So yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a really good idea. Yeah. It's a really good idea. Awesome. All right, well, why don't you show us inside, maybe take us down uh, through... Uh, we may as well start where all the uh, good goodness happens, where uh, Nick performs from, from her wonders the, in the, the galley. From the pork roast to the, uh, the side trimmings. <laughs> that's, that's exactly right. <laughs> so, uh, again, we have, we have just a ton of room down here. Um, uh, you know, two people can, you know, walk past. Um, there's good bench space, uh, outstanding uh, cupboard space uh, in here. Um, good sized uh, freezer, um, again nice flat space, um, the fridge, no freezer in here so it's all fridge um, which is just tremendous because I think it's, a, it's better than the, uh, the offering with the, uh, with the freezer, it just mm. gives you that little extra uh, space. Um, great oven, we've used that a, uh, a couple of times, um, it, uh, just get it up to heat, once it's up to temperature it'll, uh, it'll cook all day long, it's, it's, it's tremendous. Yep. Um, and again, you know, stove, yep. yeah, three burner stove, and just again, the space is uh, is nice. Uh, we put in a, a fan in here just to uh, um, you know put a bit of air through the place when uh, when we're cooking, and of course, uh, the vent above the uh, the window above the stove um, again allows you to sort of um, you know any sort of cooking smells or anything like that you want to uh, want to get rid of. Yep. So yep. Um, works out uh, really well. And what do you think about, you know, the galley down? I mean, there's a lot of debate, galley down, <laughs> galley up. Oh, galley down's no good, you know, because you're hidden down and you're trapped down below. But it's pretty open down here, isn't it? Yeah, look, really good question. Um, galley down we've always liked. Don't mind galley up, but we have no issue with galley down. The way this boat has been designed now, you've got this massive space. Um, that would be close to 600, I guess, here. And I'm looking straight into um, the saloon. So I can be involved in any conversation I can see the helm station here. I can see the helm station there. So, you know, from a, from a entertainment involvement perspective, there's no issue with galley down. It's out of the way, and it actually gives us more living space up there for sure. So, so you can get all the dirty dishes out of yeah, the way, and yeah, the yeah, butlers. Yeah. Are so perfect. it always looks clean. Uh, yeah, Brett, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a big galley, right? For it a 39 is. footer, it's, it's, it's huge. It's a big galley. It's a big galley, and uh, look, you know, we were used to the 1260s that we chartered. Um, we were a little uncertain as to what to uh, expect, certainly being hull number two. I said it before, we're, we're thrilled a bit. It, it, it's, a, it's, it's a great boat, it's well built, um, it's functional. Um, and this area here, I think, is better than any of the other uh, boats. I haven't seen the, well, obviously, 1370s up and uh, this one, all the galley down. This appears to be a bigger space. You certainly notice in here the extra room in the beam yep. through this hull and the headroom, right? Like headroom. Yep. Compared to some of the other uh, other models, yeah, this is where you feel some of the extra volume. Yeah, certainly, and uh, um, you know the, the the floor being um, flat all the way through. Um, mm -hmm. Particularly, you notice that in the uh, in the owner's hull uh, on the port side. You know, it's just it's just easy to move around. Easy to move around. All right. So then we've got uh, the midships um, guest cabin, um, and again, plenty of headroom uh, there. We, we again, we've elected to. And it's purely personal choice. We've elected to put fans in uh, two fans on each of the uh, on each of the cabins. Um, it's not a lot of money for the uh, mm. for the extra bonus of air movement that you uh, that you actually get. So um, you can sit up easily in bed, and that's what we really enjoy the opportunity to be able to sit up. And our guests can do that uh, do that as well. Plenty of storage um, uh, in here. Um, I wasn't going to open that one because I think there are things in there. Yes, there's things in there. <laughs> um, under here, behind the door, there's another sort of hanging uh, cabinet. Yep. Um, good shelf space uh, here with fiddles to uh, so stuff doesn't disappear. And a really big, um, uh, you know, head. So, you know, if you'd like, I can stand in there and sort of give you a perspective. Mm. Um, so... This is always a good test, having 
Yeah. Know, big man on the boat. That's, <laughs> that's <laughs> Make it. sure you can fit. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a problem I have. So it's, it, it, you know, it, it's perfect. You know, for, 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 a, guest, uh, for a guest head, it's, uh, it's tremendous. And the share extends out of yep. the venue. Yep. So the share, and uh, if you want to, um, you can actually uh, mount it either here or here, uh, put a permanent mount. We haven't as yet, because uh, obviously it's not, you know, our point of focus, but yeah, it can be done. Cool. We like the, uh, the ottoman as well. Um, like on the uh, 1260, it gives us, a, uh, gives us an extra uh, seat at the table, if that's what we'd like. Uh, if that's what you'd like to do. Um, Nick also, uh, she likes to uh, um, lay down and read, and uh, and you can do that. And of course, even under passage, um, you can well, do that. That's, uh, that's as well. the favourite spot under passage, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Stretch out. The other one is the table actually pushes down. Yep. Um, and these cushions that go with that, so you can actually turn this into a massive day bed or another day or another bed. Um, when we've got the grandkids up, um, I'm thinking they're going to be they're going to enjoy that very much. And these windows, uh, these are the new windows that have been, uh, yes. uh, I guess, improved from the first one and they seem to work okay? Mate, we, it, it was one of the things about Seawind that we really enjoyed was the, was the open space, the trifold door, which gives you, that brings the outside in or the inside out. Um, these, door, these windows are, are uh, uh, massive, um, beautifully uh, presented. And uh, um, at sea, the breeze that comes through there is just fantastic. Well, not at sea, um, at anchor, it comes uh, um, comes beautifully through there. And just you can control the amount of airflow yeah. coming through. Yeah. So that's awesome. You haven't down. had any issues with absolutely falling none. down or Absol leaking or anything. No. Absolutely none. It's again, um, you know, it, it, hull number two. Uh, w w we've had no issues. Um, in everything that's new, there will be something that needs some attention. That there is nothing that we've had that uh, uh, would make us change our mind. Um, we're a hundred percent happy with this boat. Cool. So, and uh, the other thing I like is nice big handles on the uh, on the other models. They have quite thin handles, and eh, it probably doesn't matter too much. But it just it just looks good. It's just easier to uh, to deal uh, with the window. Um, it certainly looks there it pretty is. robust. Yeah. It is very robust. That's a good word. So, uh, um, and this chart plotter can swivel around there too. Yep. Yeah. So um, nice when you can either see that from the um, starboard helm station, or um, if you are uh, sitting down, you can simply spin it uh, around here. So you can be sitting here and, and watching what the boat's doing. So you've got uh, the, as you're you've got the footy on. on the TV. Yep. You've got your charts on. Watching the. Uh, the Queenslanders, the game before last, teach the Blues how to play uh, rugby. <laughs> <laughs> the next game will be controversial, one, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it. So this is uh, the the owner's hull, um, and uh, um, again, plenty of room, um, lots of storage uh, all the way through here. Um, so a lot of charter stuff there, complying with charter and. The, the like, but uh, plenty of room. Um, that's replicated through that drawer, that uh, cupboard, this cupboard, and this one here. Um, again, great storage uh, in here. Plenty of room to uh, to put uh, bits and pieces. Um, again, down the bottom, uh, plenty of room to be able to store uh, things and also keep the electronics. So this is a little bit different again from Toolers, isn't it? Uh, Yes, uh, I, I guess so. I, I'm not entirely familiar with the downside of uh, the you know, sort of downstairs side of um, uh, toolers, but um, you know I just think the space here we did uh, like very much the uh, the storage boxes that um, the toolers had, um, but I think they mounted those down here. But with the movement of the electronics, yes. um, I've put those up there and they work uh, really well. Uh, just a good way of storing little knickknacks, screws, bolts, uh, all the little spares that you've got. And there is an option now for a washing machine here. Right? Yes, and, <laughs> and again, hull number three. <laughs> <laughs> so my understanding is that they're, they're, what they're doing is making this a little bit uh, wider. So they're going to fit the same sized uh, wall mounted uh, washer as in the 1370, uh, which would just be fantastic. So what we've done uh, with ours is we've actually got it mounted same as Toolers in the aft cabin. Um, between the motor um, and the uh, um, 
cabin. Yep. So yeah, fantastic. Um, master cabin, again, you'll notice that um, we have uh, um, a single floor all the way through, so there's no step down here. Um, and, and you know, plenty of, uh, plenty of room uh, in here. Uh, good storage up the top here in the uh, four peak there. So, actually, I think I've got a light up here. There we go, wrong side. Oh, very cool. So, plenty of room. And that's a collision bulkhead yep. forward. Yep. And as you can see, I don't use the light very often. <laughs> Got to hold your mouth, mouth the right way. That's it, that's <laughs> it. And these are both uh, storage bins as well. So um, you can store, you know, shoes, um, dirty washing, uh, all, all sorts of things in there. Again, out of the way. Um, standard sort of sea wind cupboards uh, here. Um, plenty of space. And again, under the bed, uh, we have um, further drawers, mood lighting down here, and, uh, and, and some beautiful space. And these are, these are amazingly deep. They've got to be 800 deep. Um, so there's a ton of room in there. Um, I think the finish here is awesome. Mm. It just gives you... Nice touch, uh, isn't it? it is. It is. And as you can see from a headroom perspective, um, there's plenty of headroom to be able to sit up in bed and read or uh, have a cup of coffee. Um, nice place to store stuff that you don't want sort of close to your uh, bed, your book, your glasses, whatever. Um, it, it's just fabulous. And the, uh, um, uh, the vent at the top here um, has a fly screen option. So you can have, the, uh, have your hatch open and the uh, fly screen or um, you can black it out all together with the... Uh, uh, with the you blackout. Got, you got your blinds to uh, accompany that yep. on the side. So these uh, simply pull down uh, here and uh, you know it just gives you that uh, that privacy. So and then a nice view. Oh, oh it's a fabulous view in the morning. We were uh, recently uh, uh, moored up at Peel Island and uh, Moreton Bay and uh, the morning was, was just beautiful looking out of here. Um, Nick had a coffee in bed and looked out there and I sat out the back. It was Fantastic. And I notice you've also got the air conditioning. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, happy with air conditioning. It works really well. Um, uh, and, and and again, two fans in the uh, in the cabins. And you use that for heating as well. Um, we haven't as yet, uh, but the way I'm feeling at the moment, if we were going out today, <laughs> that'd say. be working. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's been in use. So, so plenty of room uh, in here. Um, you know, obviously there's some things here where the electric winch is just here, uh, but you know, sitting down um, at sea, you can uh, sit down here, um, there's plenty of room, um, you can direct the shower head however you like. Um, I've, say, I've had showers here underway, um, sailing up the coast, um, and also um, at anchor, and it's, it's, there's plenty of room, and again, you know, I don't mind a pie, I'm a big fella. So. <laughs> Um, and of course the engine, uh, the engine bay in there. Do you want to look at that? Yeah, open up real quick. So you uh, you can actually get in and see and access and see what you're doing. Here we are, back up in the uh, back up in the saloon. Well, why don't we have a look on the deck? Yeah. and uh, check out the sailing hardware. One of the things I like about this is the uh, the cleanness, the cleanliness of the decks. There's no mm. lines. Yep. The lines are basically captured here, but you've still got plenty of space to walk along, uh, which is another, uh, with this new 1170 design, is another uh, uh, really nice uh, benefit. It, it's, it's a big deck. It's a really big deck. That's um, flat, isn't it? Like and, uh, um, you know, we, we've elected to sort of put a couple of bean bags here. Um, and let me tell you, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. Uh, you know, evening drinks are pretty good. Pretty darn good. And the, uh, um, the, little, the, uh, the chairs on the Pulpits. Now are they just... dolphin seats or champagne seats? Depends on the time of day, doesn't it? <laughs> <That's right. laughs> but you know, again, it's just a lovely spot and plenty of space to uh, to look around the boat, um, experience you know where you're at at sea. So Simon, you've got the full sailing suite on this boat. Yeah. So uh, we got the carbon bowsprit, um, which allows us to uh, fly the asymmetric uh, spinnaker, um, and we also have the uh, have the screecher. 
Um, the Screecher is a, it, it's just a great sail. It's easy to use, light winds, it, it, it's awesome. Which uh, runs off this furling. Which runs off furling. that um, furler, yeah. So it, very easy to do too. It simply slides into the furler um, on the clip. Yeah. This clip here, uh, you slide it in here and it just locks away uh, like that, perfect. Um, so it just makes it easy to, uh, easy to operate. And you've got the self-tacking jib. Oh, you wouldn't be without the self-tacking jib. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As, as a racer, I'm a very good cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've also got the clue control yep. that allows you to trim yep. your traveller yep. distance. Yeah. Yep. So you've got your, uh, you got your cars um, there and then uh, you can um, adjust, the, uh, adjust your traveller um, as you go from the, uh, uh, the port helm. And then, uh, so the, the main halyards are back, but we've got the forward, uh, the halyards here for the jib and the spinnaker, isn't it? Yes. And then Screech as well. Yep. Yeah. Yep. With a winch on the mast. So that's a little bit yep. different to some of the other seawind models, so but. There's our jib and there's our, uh, uh, that's, it, that's our um, spinnaker. And that there is our uh, Screecher. It's got quite a big flat deck up here, hasn't it? On the, yep. Uh, yep, very safe. Coach roof. Yeah. Very safe. Um, like you're out here, and of course you, you know you, you're still going to get a bit of uh, bit of movement, but there's there's nothing really to uh, to trip on. All these uh, all these are, are smooth, um, so flush they're fl mounted. flush mounted, yep. um, which make it um, a real benefit. Obviously, you don't walk on them, but um, you, you you don't run the risk of uh, of you know stubbing your toe or tripping over uh, whilst you're out here. Um, two uh, water tank fillers. There's two tanks. Uh, 520 litres, there's the bottom 300, the top uh, 320 and the bottom and the top 200. Good size storage uh, in here. Um, so sails, um, other bits of kit, toys. Uh, and we've got the, uh, the winch locker. So that's our, uh, our deck wash down. Just there, and then we look at the uh, the forward lockers. This is these three forward lockers, which are really, uh, really quite deep. Um, they're fantastic, uh, great size. Um, these are obviously separated, yeah, they're huge, but they? they are enormous. Um, so we keep basically all our fenders in this one, uh, spare lines in uh, in this one, and there's uh, and there's room to spare. So um, it really is, from a storage perspective on the deck, tremendous. Easy to work. So that's again, you know, where all the fenders all are, which fenders are out, out at the moment. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, we also elected to. We've got the um, the winch uh, at the, the winch controls at the helm station, but also we've got uh, up down switches uh, here uh, if we're at the uh, at the front here working ourselves. So. Cool, and then on the coach roof itself, you've got uh, a pretty large solar array. Yeah, we've got the four panels there, plus the uh, the two on the uh, on the back of the coach roof, over the back of the target arch. Uh, there's room for probably two or three more, or sorry, two to four more up here. Um, and I think uh, I think the guys at uh, Toolers are doing that at the moment um, to put a couple of extra uh, couple of extra panels. But we've got a mountain of batteries in there, um, and with the solar panel and the um, high output alternators, there's no problem keeping charge up uh, for what we use. And this yellow floats just purely for charter, isn't it? So that's not required for anything else? No, Carly floats for uh, to meet charter. The back arrangement, you've got the dinghy, the nice little uh, hugging davit set up there. Yeah, it, it's nice. The, uh, um, they sit nicely into the, uh, into the um, holes of the, the pontoons on the uh, dinghy. Um, Strap it in. It's very stable uh, whilst under passage. We've, uh, you know, heading up the uh, the coast to uh, Sanctuary Cove. The conditions weren't terrible, but they weren't great either. They weren't smooth, but uh, and it, it stayed very stable. So yeah, very happy with it. Very happy with it. Yeah, there is a, a cockpit table as an option nowadays. So that's yeah. a new uh, addition. Yeah, early adopters again. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is apparently a a table in there, and that that just again would take this to another level. Um, to be able to sit out here um, and have your drinks here, similar to the, uh, uh, the 1260, 1370, um, just brilliant. Um, and you know, if that had been available uh, for us, 
we would have taken it. Mm. But, you know, it, these, are, these things are going to develop and these boats are going to get better and better. And we've seen that happen from hull number one to hull number two. Um, and, you know, if this is any indication of what's to come, well, it's chalk Amazing. and cheese between one and two, isn't it? I mean, the, the boat is... Look, from a, tr a structural, stable, support, sea wind build, exactly the same. Mm. You know, it, it, it's, it's, it's great. From a, from a finish perspective where you sit back and go, wow, this is, uh, this is special and it's great to bring people on. You know, we've had family on here and you, know, you look into that sort of uh, uh, saloon area and, and it's lovely. It's just lovely. So... As it improves with the washing machine, the tables, those other little bits and pieces that us early adopters will identify and pass on, this boat's only going to get better. And who do you think this boat suits? You know, now you've you've spent some time on board. Um... Look, interesting question. Um, I think it will suit uh, people that are new um, uh, to the industry as long as you've got some experience um, and as long as you've got some some sort of sailing background behind you. I think it's a pretty forgiving boat. Um, it's easy for two people to handle, um, and I think that's the key. For, that was the key for Nick and I. Was it's easy for two people to handle. Um, uh, everything comes back to the uh, to the helms. Um, all the lines come back to the helms. You've got your chart plotters. You've got all your uh, all your gauges uh, there, nice and easy. Um, there's been some interesting articles. Richard's article, uh, while, while, while he is, he chose the uh, the 1170 as his cruising boat, and the key thing there was two people and there's a ton of room there's a ton of room in here for two people um, yeah you know we had we've had eight people on the boat um, and you know they all had a place and uh, yeah it, it's <laughs> if this is hole number two I, I can't wait to see the next ones mm. I can't wait to see the next one well thanks Simon so much for showing us your boat it's uh, obviously you're very passionate about it and uh, I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying some time aboard. Yeah, and, uh, Brent, it's great. Nick and I love it. It's, yeah. it's a great boat. We lo love it, have it here as part of our cruise club. It's, uh, it's, it's become a very popular boat. So uh, thank you, mate. And no uh, look forward to getting out of the water soon. Yeah, good. <laughs> Thanks, Brent. <laughs>